All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. So we are in week two of free agency. I 100,000% expect the Pittsburgh Steelers, Omar Khan, the con artist himself, to continue to bolster and improve this roster. Last week, we saw Russell Wilson get picked up. We recently saw a Justin Fields trade. We saw them ship away Kenny Pickett. We saw them pick up star linebacker Patrick Queen. Keep an eye out this week on Tyler Boyd to Pittsburgh or Mike Williams to Pittsburgh. I will talk about that later on in the video, but I keep seeing there's so much pessimism with these two quarterback moves that Pittsburgh made in Russell Wilson and Justin Fields this past week. Um, I was reading an article. This was from 33rd team. Russell Wilson was listed as their ninth overall worst move in free agency thus far. And uh, it was just kind of a ridiculous, absurd list in general. But I think a lot of non-Steelers fans are missing out on the point completely. And I think if you are rating Russell Wilson ninth overall to Pittsburgh, you probably didn't watch a Pittsburgh Steelers game in the last two seasons. Um, some way, somehow, even though they had the fourth worst offense in the National Football League, some way, somehow, they went 10-7. and seven. And their starting quarterback got injured. And their offensive coordinator, Matt Canada, was fired. But one thing is for certain, Omar Khan realizes the legitimacy of this defense, like we all do. He realizes that even in a season where you're the fourth worst offense and you're averaging less than 18 offensive points per game, ridiculous stat line, I still have a player named George Pickens who had 63 catches for almost 1,200 yards, averaging over 18 yards per catch. Jalen Warren, Najee Harris, some nice pieces on the offensive line, some nice tight ends. Uh, they just needed any type of help at the quarterback position. But most importantly, all three of these players, Arthur Smith or coaches, Arthur Smith, Russell Wilson, and Justin Fields, they all have something to prove. All right, so that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. But before we do, if you guys enjoy it, be sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button for daily NFL content. We're posting pretty much daily Steelers videos right now. Steelers fans, seriously, I can't tell you how much I appreciate all your support and love this past week, especially if you could try and get this video to 500 likes. That would mean the absolute world to me. So, you know, once again, Russell Wilson and Justin Fields specifically, you got him for somebody had a comment. Uh, we got... <laughs> The comment was, we got Justin Fields for a high five and a handshake. And that is literally what happened. Whether or not Justin Fields is the day one starter and he plays over 51% of the snaps and the draft pick goes from pick numbers or the sixth round pick to the fourth round pick, uh, that's a good problem to have. And once again, we talked about in our last video, it's pretty much like a half stale bag of chips for Justin Fields. Uh, we've been seeing a lot of, you know, kind of rumors because, you know, Steelers coach Mike Tomlin was up front with Justin Fields. He told him that Russell Wilson is the starter and Fields will work from there. Fields has been telling people that he's excited for the new beginning. Uh, it's just like this rejuvenating, fresh breath of air in the Pittsburgh Steelers locker room in general, but especially in the quarterback room. And, you know, I loved Mason Rudolph and I loved the story of Kenny Pickett, but at the end of the day, they just needed more. And uh, Omar Khan said, you know, when, when asked Justin Fields or Russell Wilson, he pretty much said both. I love what either of these quarterbacks, no matter who QB1 is going to be, uh, I just absolutely love it. You know, Russell Wilson last year was Sean Payton, 26 passing touchdowns, only eight interceptions. He's efficient, he's effective, and most importantly, he's a good leader. And he gets a really bad rap for being just kind of this cringy dude, uh, but he's a leader and he's a great locker room presence to have, especially with guys like George Pickens, who was disgruntled at various points last season. I just think having Russell Wilson is going to be a lot more smooth sailing. You're not going to see many interceptions. You're not going to see many mistakes, which is what you need if you play football for Pittsburgh Steelers, if you're their starting quarterback. And he's just going to get the job done once again, efficiently, more effectively. And even if it's not Russell Wilson, let's say Russell Wilson, they run with it for the first couple of weeks. It's not working. Well, Justin Fields also gets this bad rap. And all of the both of those two players, they're working for Pittsburgh on the cheap. And I saw rumors. Um, I actually have the report. Let me pull it up here that the Pittsburgh Steelers and Russell Wilson could work out something long term. So here it is. The Pittsburgh Steelers and Russell Wilson, quote unquote, intend to do a longer deal found the 2024 NFL season, according to Jerry Dulac of the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette. 
Wilson, 35 years old, will play the upcoming campaign on a one-year veteran minimum, $1.2 million contract, though it helps that the Denver Broncos still owe him $39 million this year. And obviously the Steelers ended up trading for Justin Fields late on Saturday night. It's a win-win. You know, if Russell Wilson plays like he did last season, well, Pittsburgh's going to win over 10 football games. You're going to get into the playoffs and you have a really good chance with the defense, especially with all these playmakers on the offensive side, a new offensive coordinator with a lot to prove in Arthur Smith, you're probably going to win a playoff game. And once again, if it doesn't work out with Russell Wilson, well, you got him for less than $2 million this season. So you cut him loose in the off season. You probably pick up Justin Fields fifth year option and you'll run with it there. And if either of those two work, well, at least Omar Khan took the risk and he took the gamble, which is something I've been saying on this channel for the last couple of months now. I just needed more offensively, man. I don't, I hate saying it. If your starting quarterback gets injured in the final month of the season, he comes back healthy and you're running with the third string QB, you need new QBs in the off season. And with the way the Pittsburgh Steelers offenses with guys like George Pickens, the way their defense is with TJ Wild, Alex Highsmith, even Joey Porter Jr., now Patrick Queen, the opportunity to win is still here. And it's still very much here for the foreseeable future. So, you know, even with Justin Fields, I saw a great stat on 20 plus yard throws in 2023, 23 of 52, 673 yards, eight touchdowns, two interceptions, five drop passes, and a 96.7 PFF passing grade. That's third. So the point is, I got my offense coordinator, I got my quarterbacks, Dante Jackson just restructured his contract. The Pittsburgh Steelers are not done in free agency. They're still going to be making some moves, like we alluded to in the beginning of this video. Mike Williams is slated for a meeting this week with the Pittsburgh Steelers. I also think Tyler Boyd is very legitimate. We've been talking about that for weeks on end, coming on over to divisional rival, the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, folks, yeah, got the quarterbacks. You got Russell Wilson. He's a great leader. A lot of these guys, the chip on your shoulder. Arthur Smith, Russell Wilson, Justin Fields, they all have a chip on their shoulder. And George Pickens is a star wide receiver. And even though they averaged less than 18 points per game last season, fourth worst in the National Football League, George Pickens, could you imagine George Pickens, Mike Williams, Tyler Boyd, Pat Fryermuth, Darnell Washington, Jalen Warren, Najee Harris, Russell Wilson, uh, it just got me licking my chops. I know a lot of Pittsburgh Steelers fans feel the exact same way. And uh, Dante Jackson and Patrick Queen coming on over on the defensive side of things. Uh, folks, that defense is as good as ever. That TJ Watt injury at the end of the season really, really, really sucked. And uh, I'm just really excited about Pittsburgh next season. And we're like just started free agency day two like a couple of hours ago. So stay tuned for more. Hit that like button. Hit that sub button for daily NFL videos. Most importantly, Steelers fans, give me a confidence rating thus far. One week into free agency, one out of 10, 10 being very confident. And also let me know your thoughts on Mike Williams and or Tyler Boyd to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Peace.